Yo, what's going on Dragon Ballers? Welcome back to another video. Today we are covering some more Set 16 reveals. We'll be covering some of the promos coming out with Set 16 today, as well as some main deck cards. But yeah, there seems to be a Vegeta leader coming out that may be super, super broken. But we'll cover that as we get into the video. This stuff seems to like support the old school style of red, blue, Gogeta BR ramp. So I know a lot of you guys that are diehard fans of that strategy, which I know there are many of you, should be very, very happy about this stuff. We'll talk about how that all kind of intertwines in the video. Video. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell so you never miss a Dragon Ball Super video. And as always, many, many links down in the description that will help out the channel if you uh, feel inclined to check them out. Anyways, we will get into the video. All right, so we have the Vegeta Leader here, which again is a promo coming out in set 16. Now, if you're not, these types of promos, usually the leader based promos, are not very hard to get they're like a little expensive when the set first releases but usually these are um distributed as part of the pre-release so uh, again shouldn't be too too expensive especially like a week or two or three after the set releases but anyways we have the unawakened side of vegeta here so when this card attacks draw one activate battle once per turn choose up to one red or blue sand card in your hand discard it look up three cards on top of your deck add up to one goku br vegeta br or gogeta br among them to your hand then place the remaining cards on top of your deck in any order. So before we get to the Awaken Clause, I want to talk about what makes this leader so potentially broken. But firstly, obviously this seems to be support, again, for that red-blue style um, Gogeta ramp deck. Now this is a similar-ish leader to the Gogeta leader, a promo from a long, long time ago that can basically look at the top five, add a Goku, Vegeta, or a Veku, if I'm not mistaken. This leader does a similar thing, except instead of searching Vekus, it searches for Gogetas. So if you wanted to play the Veku that ramps upon uh, it getting KO'd when you block with it, basically, that wouldn't be a searchable card in this deck, but would still be a playable card in the deck, I believe. But yeah, the, where this leader, like, is possibly super super busted is in that first line of text choose up to one red or blue sand card in your hand discard it so you basically don't have to discard a card it says choose up to so you can choose zero and because of that colon there there's no implication of like and if you do look up three cards top of your deck x y and z it all just seems to be one seamless effect where you can certainly choose zero cards to discard and then still proceed to look at the top three and add a card so basically what that means if that interpretation holds true this leader can basically plus two uh, on the unawakened side which is a very very powerful thing now i will say i've talked about this a lot in the past not so much recently where we haven't had too many like crazy broken cards um i guess as far as leaders go maybe but this is a cool thing because this is a very very powerful effect again being able to plus two on your unawakened side is a very very strong thing that a leader has going for it but it's clearly tied to this very specific archetype and i've always said that when you have very strong mechanics like this it's good to keep them confined to maybe a uh an underutilized or under supported archetype now i won't necessarily go as far to say that red blue gogeta br is under supported it did actually manage to top a, uh, one of the online regionals i think within the past six months shout out to aspira who i know topped with it i'm just not sure how frequently or how recently a tournament was but yeah the deck has done something which is kind of cool and um this deck has seen legacy support and this is just more legacy support so again i won't say it's under supported but it is like a very like confined archetype where um you know it's it seems kind of okay that this leader can be this strong but of course like it's bandai this could just get ruled the complete other way they could you know deem it too strong and just say it doesn't work because bandai said so like they could say you have to pitch a card in order to look at the top three even though i don't believe the colon really um implies that but yeah we'll have to wait and see kind of how they go about it i also find it a little bit weird that it's a solely vegeta leader meant to work for a fusion deck because normally for the fusion decks we either had we either have the uh the fusion character on the card or like both the characters that lead into the fusion so that's just a weird thing as far as like a thematic standpoint but anyways let's continue with the with the card so awaken when you're least four or less or you have four or more energy draw one card switch one of your energy to active mode flip this card over then we have the awaken side uh, I love the fact that it's Super Saiyan God, by the way. That's awesome. Permanent red Gogeta BR cards in your hand gain the following skill. Union Fusion for uh, a red, a blue, and then two colorless Sun Goku BR and Vegeta BR. Now, that's cool because that applies to all red Gogeta BRs, not just like the, the ones within the uh, ramp strategy. So, you can actually fuse um, some powerful sick drop Gogetas into this which we'll see in a little bit but once card attacks draw one auto once per turn when you play a gogeta br card draw one card 
then choose to one of your red blue multicolor energy and uh switch to active mode at the end of the turn so yeah i mean overall this leader does seem very strong especially within the archetype that it uh it's meant to be played with so before we get into more new cards i do want to check out some of the cards this can actually uh fuse with this permanent so yeah one really cool thing you can do with this permanent on this leader is fuse into ssp gogeta technique unchained which in and of itself is a very powerful boss monster it just can't be ko'd via its own permanent um when this card or one of your opponent's cards attacks you may choose one of your opponent's cards and it gets minus 20k for the battle if you do negate the skill for the turn so you get that kind of just uh board removal every so often and the real kicker here is that when a card evolves into this card choose one of your red unison cards add two markers to it we don't get that but you can't play battle cards for the turn so that's an auto that activates when this card evolves and we're not evolving this card by doing this so you don't actually have to deal with that auto again you don't get to add two markers to a unison but we don't really care about that what's really cool is you can in the same turn evolve this card into ssp gogeta fusion onslaught which in the previous mono red gogeta deck you couldn't do you had to play ssp gogeta technique unchained wait a turn and then go into fusion onslaught but the cool thing again here is that you can just fuse right into technique unchained and then you can go into fusion onslaught and if your opponent's board is clear you can burn them right then and there yeah the thing here too is you could also fuse into fusion onslaught with the leaders permanent but i mean that doesn't really get you much except again for like a, a pseudo board wipe because you can attack into all the battle cards so i think this alone is one of the really cool draws to this type of deck and uh, you got to go through and look at all the different goku and vegeta brs a lot of them have 10k power especially the red ones and uh, some of them i believe have effects when they're fused off so that's only more fuel to the fire but anyways let's move on to some of the more cards that are actually coming out with this uh this whole thing we do have a trunks unison which is also coming out as a promo it seems like it's meant to be played with this leader although it doesn't really appear to be super synergistic with the effects but anyways ssg trunks spirit empowered we have a two drop 15k blue unison auto when this card is placed in a drop area from your unison area choose one of your unison cards with empower blue three and add a marker to it now i think there was one that was revealed in the trailer for set 16 but i couldn't find a scan of it so We'll have to cover that i guess when it officially gets revealed and maybe we'll see more synergy there but anyways activate battle burst one choose one of your blue cards it gets plus five thousand power for the battle not a super great plus one by any means i guess it's just free combo power which is not too bad but again it just doesn't really show great synergy with this type of strategy auto minus one when a marker is removed from this card by an opponent's attack this card gets plus 10,000 power for the turn again not super synergistic with this type of deck this type of deck will probably play like Zeno cosmic unison if I had to guess because that unison is really really good in the um, old school rant version of red blue Gogeta but yeah I mean this is just I wanted to talk about it because it's coming out with the Vegeta leader uh, it's probably gonna be the unison you get in tandem with the leader even though again doesn't really seem all that synergistic but maybe it'll make more sense when we see the empower blue three unison who knows then we have a new goku and vegeta coming out in the main set these are brs so we do have the red u7 goku stuff don't confuse this with that stuff because again these are brs they don't synergize with the red u7 goku stuff so ss goku the interceptor we have a two drop 10k blocker choose one red blue multicolor card in your energy at the end of a turn where this card was played from your hand draw one card and switch chosen card to active mode so yeah i mean i guess it's technically a one drop blocker that draws a card which isn't a terrible rate but you do have to invest the initial two which i think will make a lot of people not want to actually cast this card then we have ss vegeta the pursuer two drop 10k critical choose a red blue multicolor in your energy at the end of a turn where this card was played draw one then switch chosen card to active mode a one drop 10k critical the real problem with casting these guys is that you're getting giving up fusion fodder which a lot of the times these gogeta decks don't actually want to do especially these ones in particular don't have an auto where they come back to hand like some of the other goku and vegeta brs so yeah i don't think you'll be casting these all that often and you probably won't even play them in the deck to be honest in the most competitive level because they don't really offer you much in terms of like being good fusion fodder or even just being good to play them to the field honestly but then we do have one more new card in the main set and i'm sure we'll see more red blue cards but i'll talk about that in a second so we have ss gogeta holding nothing back five drop 20k energy exhaust blocker union fusion a red a blue and a colorless with a goku and a vegeta br permanent this card can't be ko'd by skills auto if your leader card's a blue vegeta br or a blue gogeta br card so it's already making a nod to that old gogeta leader i was talking about at the end of a turn where this card was played draw one card then add up to one red blue multicolor card from your drop area to your energy so yeah we have that synergy of adding cards to your energy right of ramping but the weird thing about this card is that it doesn't actually synergize with the older gogeta ramp stuff at least the the main deck battle cards so the main two examples i have are ss gogeta all out of salt which 
doesn't really do anything with the previous goju we just read but on the other hand we also don't have um an evolved target for frenzied burst right he only evolves specifically over a six cost the one we looked at a second ago is a five cost so you can spend your turn playing the five costs we just read and ramping one energy but again like where does that get you in the grand scheme of like this whole ramp like burn strategy again i'm sure we're gonna see more red blue cards as the multicolors get revealed probably more towards the end of reveal season but yeah as of right now this doesn't seem to make a whole lot of sense again at least with this like main deck boss monster package maybe we'll get some other sort of like evolved gogeta that um that it works with that seems to be the most logical conclusion for me but yeah guys overall i think leader is very powerful i think a lot of the cards in the deck um seem to be in a decent spot obviously again this synergy doesn't really seem to work out all that well but i'm sure we'll see more with more red blue cards coming out later on in the in the uh reveal season but anyways guys i wonder what you think in the comments below thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time